Dead Ringers is the new album. It's been quite a while since a full-length album. So this is the follow-up to the Abandoned album from 2012. In between the time of 2012 and 2020, there's been a handful of uh, EP releases as well as single releases. But uh, as full-length albums go, there hasn't been one in, uh, what is that, eight years? Um, well, technically, I guess Dark Moods is a full-length album, but we're not, we're just, yeah, whatever on that one. So I wanted to uh, approach this album in a very different way uh, than all my previous stuff, including Abandon and all the EPs and singles after Abandon. So I wanted to make something very raw and real. I didn't want to, you know, process everything. I didn't want to quantize the drums or sample replace the drums. I'm just interested in real sounding performances. I mean, even if, uh, even if technically these might be mistakes, I almost want that. I was encouraging myself to leave mistakes on the record. So the album that, that we have now, the album that is Dead Ringers, is a completely different album than what it once was, which was Poncho. I think there's only maybe two songs that made it from the Poncho sessions over to Dead Ringers. And so the album kind of turned into a completely different uh, album once uh, the recording was done and you know, I was left with uh, more refined songs. Songs that had a little bit more atmosphere to them. Uh, they weren't so stripped down and raw. They had a little bit more, there was more of a buffer there with mood. They had just a little bit more mood. And, uh, or, you know, we could even call that a little bit more keyboards. Come on, come on, come on. 
songs on uh, Dead Ringers are mainly inspired, you know, by the desert, uh, the deserts here in Utah, you know, desert landscapes, all different kinds of desert landscapes. It's very nature based, like a lot of my music, it's very rooted in nature, because that's the only thing that matters anymore, or ever did, really. You know, aside from music and film, what is there? There's nature. That's why we need to protect it. There's actually two album covers to Dead Ringers. You know, that's kind of a, a fun way of doing it, playing with a title. Um, one of the album covers, well, the main album cover, was shot by Purgatory Pete. He's somewhere over here filming. <laughs> that was a uh, composite shot. It was shot, uh, well, what would we say, two hours west of here, about, in a very large cave. So it's my, it's myself and three other Rose Phantoms around uh, a campfire in a very large cave. So that's the main album cover. And, uh, you know, I give all the credit to Purgatory Pete on that one. I just showed up and uh, changed my clothes a few times, but he did the rest. And then the uh, the second album cover is just something I put together. Um, I just wanted to have the option of two different album covers, and uh, the release of this is um, both digital, so you can you know do the new world thing and uh, you know be a new world man. And you could download the album. You could do that. Or you can buy this limited edition uh, two CD inside a metal case. It also comes with liner notes and autograph print. Uh, so yeah, you get the, uh, the album on one CD, 10 track album of Dead Ringers. And then on the second CD, you get uh, four tracks, which are the B-sides from Dead Ringers. So you could have this really cool tin case with CDs and goodies inside, or you could just download it onto a hard drive or whatever it is, stream it, whatever you need to do to hear it. So you can be an analog kid or a digital man. Yeah. By the way, there's a big ass spider on that wall behind you. Oh, I see it now. Zoom into it.
Want to go visit the spider with me, Zach? Yeah. He's good. Yeah? Okay. Good. Good job standing there.